Hello friends, this is Julie from StampinJulie.com and today I wanted to show you how I created this printable Spring is Nature's Way of Saying Let's Party. So we're going to start with a clean canvas and I really wanted to use the papers from my lemonade stand. It's a free celebration content disc that's available. This week is the last week the week that I'm recording this and we're in March of 2013. Anyway, I used this paper called Lemonade Stand 3. It's a neutral paper with some polka dots which gave me a great neutral background for this print. And then I wanted to search my embellishments and so forth to see if I could find something with spring and I found this stamp and I inserted that. So inserted that in, into the document here and just enlarged that because I wanted that to be a good size word here on the page. Um, of course, I didn't want it to be black, so I recolored it. And you can also use this tool at the top to center it horizontally so you can make sure that it's centered across your page. I came over here to change color and I chose the summer sun bright yellow color to put on spring. I also wanted to include a little flower so again I went down to my search tool. Um, I happened to know that it was an embellishment that I found that I liked so I'm just going to select embellishment here so that we um, can see it comes right up here at the top. Now this embellishment is not quite the same color as my word and I also resized this so that it would be um, large with my word but not quite that large. So I can you can recolor embellishments by going over here to the right to the recolor tool and I recolored this in the summer sun also so it would match my word and that was all I had to do there. Now on my spring stamp I also wanted to include a drop shadow but I wanted my drop shadow to really almost outline the word so I came over here and I changed my opacity to 75% and my blur to 3 which made it more compact and a little darker and that gave me this um, this dark color here. I'm going to make this even just a little bit larger. All right. Now when you get done with these two things you want these this flower and this the spring to go together so you can hit the control key, hold the control key down and select each item and then control G groups them together or you can come up here to arrange and group and hit group and it will group those two items together. Now when I move them around the page they move together. So again I'm going to go back up here, I'm going to center horizontally. I'm going to add a text box. I'm going to add three more text boxes. This one is going to say is nature's and um, I selected the font that I wanted there and I used the Gills Sands Condense and I changed my size to 64. Go down here, changed it to 64 and I recolored it to the gray and obviously move this over. We're going to add another text box and this is going to say is nature's way of saying and again I'm going to resize that the same way that I did the other one. Okay, once I get those uh, the way that I like them, then I can maneuver them separately, which allows me to put them closer together on the page and gives me more flexibility. All right, now I wanted to add Let's Party. So again, we add another text box and type in Let's Party 
and this one is going to be a little larger so I'm going to make my text box a little bit larger here all right I changed my font to a different font and made this size 180 and then I recolored it to primrose petals and I added the drop shadow and I did basically the same thing here I made the opacity 75% uh, so it's fairly dark Align that to the center align this to the middle and that's basically it you can play around with it a little bit center it a little better but um, that's how quick it is to create a printable enjoy visit me at stampinjulie.com every Tuesday I'll have more digital inspiration and enjoy this printable and be sure and um, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week. Bye.